I think we need to talk about how this massive Google stock split was announced just yesterday. For those of you that didn't know, Google is a $1.8 trillion company, an advertising behemoth. I found this chart on FinShot's website yesterday. It's from 2020, but I can't imagine much has changed. According to the chart, Google's business model is 57% ads on Google-owned properties, like Gmail, for example. 13% ads from network member properties, like Google Ad Manager. 11% ads from YouTube, which is owned by Google. 7% Google Cloud, and 11% Other such as Google Nest, which is a line of smart products, and Google Play, which is an online store in over 190 countries where people get apps, movies, games, and whatnot. Now, we don't have a date for when this stock split is going to happen, but hypothetically, if it were to happen right now, we would break each share into 20 smaller shares, making them each worth around $150. Now, remember, Fractional shares already exist. You can already buy 1 20th of a share. So this means that absolutely nothing is going to change. It's like an uncut pizza versus a pizza cut into eight slices. It's the same thing. I mean, I guess people can buy options for cheaper, but no value is being added. No value is being removed. Value is only being separated. So nothing changes. Stock splits are more of a publicity stunt than anything else. Rather than doing nothing, companies will grab a megaphone and say, Hey everyone, we're doing nothing. It gets attention, it gets media coverage, it gets people talking, which ultimately leads to more people buying the stock. Me personally, I do not invest directly in Google stock, so this doesn't make a bit of a difference to me. I just so happen to know that it's going to be a hot topic this week, so I thought it was worth bringing up. Plus, it could make for an interesting conversation in the comments. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you.